two types of twins, okay? That's paternal and identical. There's actually three types, okay? There's paternal, identical, then there's the type that Dennis and I are, identical mirror twins. You know, we, you look in a mirror alike but opposite, you know, see, I am right-handed, and he is left-handed. Wow. wow. What? <laughs> now, he has this tooth missing over here. I have the same tooth missing on the other side. <laughs> when I was a baby, I had the tip of this finger cut off. When he was a baby, I had the tip of the same finger cut off on the other hand. You know? But, you know, I was thinking the other day, it's real comforting to know you have spare parts walking around. <laughs> <laughs> but then I got to think about that another way. Uh, could go the other way. Could it? <laughs> uh, you know, I, you know, we're, Dennis is normally a suit and tie guy, and I and I'm a boots and jeans kind of guy. Uh, and uh, my wife and I are on the ranch up in Missouri, and uh, there we raise horses and cattle. The, the, you know that my wife. Uh, shows in the American Quarter Horse Association, she shows her horse, and that's a picture of her right up there, you know, with her trainer, and there she shows in, I don't know, you know much about AQHA, but Western Pleasure, and, and Horsemanship, and Trail, and that sort of thing. Now, she loves for me to come and watch her show, okay, if she tries to go to different shows, and I finally just had to break down and tell her, honey, Watching these shows is kind of like watching paint dry. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're participating in it, it ain't much fun to watch, you know what I'm saying. But I tell you what, this is the, the best picture my wife ever took. Right there, see her right there? Oh, yes it is. Absolutely, I agree. I like the outfit. That's beautiful. Well, I call it a fashion show on horses. That's yeah, there you are. There you are. All right, well, I'm going to walk through here, and y'all just have to walk through Dennis and I's little uh, bathroom here. <laughs> I can't jump up and down yet. This is... mm -hmm. How much I love you. Yeah, me too. Oh, my girl. So Look, we got, so we got. He gave it to the wrong person. Oh, no. <laughs> so we're recruiting it now, so I'm, this is how I'm dressing into the picture. Don't come right on in. Now, a few of you people, right? This is my other brother, Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. But, uh, anyway, this is my close to Dennis. And, uh, wow. wow, all right. Tell a little about it. Uh, well, what a good looking group we have here. Yeah. Well, I heard the jokes over there about yeah. the spare parts yeah. and stuff like that. Well, yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Well, it's glad to have y'all here. There's, you know, there's a couple of pictures I'd like to point out to you. One of, uh, you know, one of our friends is a guy named Jerry Jones. You, know, you ever heard of that guy? Yeah. Uh, Jones and Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys. And mm. One time we were at his home at a fundraiser, and, and then, you don't know this guy, but he, he's a lieutenant governor. But we were in Jerry Jones's den, and you see those three Lombardi trophies right there where they went three Super Bowls. Right? You recognize that guy over there? His guy, he's, his name is uh, Mike Huckabee. Yeah. He, he now has a, a TV show, right? Sure does. Yeah, sure does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, this guy right here is uh, Greg Abbott. He's the Texas Attorney General. And he, he, he autographed this to Dennis and Daniel, two great Americans. Now, do you want to know how to become a great American? I'm going to tell you. You cart him around in your Learjet while he's trying uh, to get elected. Yeah. Amen. Hey, thanks. Wow, we had a heck of a party, too. I bet you did. Oh, yeah, we cleared out the warehouse where I keep all my cars. and. and I was about to send you guys a car. Oh, 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 all right. right. That's, that's, that's all right. Well, I tell you what, not every day you turn the big 7-0, right? <laughs> oh, man. That's the yeah. Well, we're going to continue on our okay. tour. Don't you guys look oh, awesome, yeah. though. Oh, Great shape. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking like right, exactly. Uh, no, that was taken at a, a birthday party that we all attended. Gotta make sure I get you on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming this is the honey. <laughs> yes, that's the I honey. Him, Come on, Adam, pay attention. He's going to be an IBO. He needs to pay, be paying attention now. Wow. He probably can. He can probably run our team call already. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Texas. Now, you never heard of Brownwood, Texas, I know. So, I'm going to tell you how to find it. 
If you get a map of Texas, if you'll point and get about in the middle of the state, you'll find a little town there called Brownwood, Texas, and that's where Dennis and I were born and raised. Went to Brownwood, high school Texas. there. As a matter of fact, uh, some years ago, the city fathers came up, and the, 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 the thing that Brownwood was known for, at one time they had the winningest high school football coach in the nation. Okay. And in Texas, football is king, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, this coach had won, I think, nine or ten state championships. And that's kind of like winning Super Bowls in Texas, okay? So the City Fathers came up here, and they brought the coach with him. And uh, the old stadium was in pretty bad shape down there. And so they pitched us on, uh, you know, the, how they need to redo the stadium. And so we listened, and we said, well, guys, uh, We'll be more than happy, you know, we're marketing guys. We'll, we'll develop a marketing plan where y'all can raise that money to redo the stadium. The old coach looked at us and said, boys, you don't understand. You are our marketing plan. <laughs> 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 so uh, we donated the money. Uh, we redid the stadium. It was already Gardenwood Stadium, but they were nice enough to name it Bloom Field. So it's now a Gardenwood oh, Stadium. Oh, that's so Bloom totally Field. cool. Yeah. Nice. That is too cool. Wow. And well-deserving. Right. And uh, we went over to his house uh, uh, 11, 11 years ago now, and to negotiate, he wanted to sell his jet because he was moving up, you know, in a bigger jet. So we went to his house. It's over in Highland Park. Now, Highland Park is the really rich section of Dallas, okay? So we went over there, and, you know, the guard lets you in the gate. You go up to the door. The, the maid comes and seats you in the city <laughs> room, you know. Sounds and good I knew, me. I knew we were in a pretty high-class joint because that maid served us coffee in little bitty coffee cups. <laughs> okay? But anyway, in a few moments, Jerry came in, sat down, we negotiated to buy his jet. <laughs> And as we were walking out the door, he put his arms around us and said, Boys, I want to tell you one thing about that lyric jet. It will hold eight passengers or 16 cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> and if you know anything about that, Jones' reputation in Dallas, that's a true statement. Here's just some pictures that we've taken. Uh, this was an artist, uh, oh, oil that was done on Dennis and I about uh, oh 25 gosh. years ago. Look at that you know. That was back in the, remember when wow. hair was yeah. the deal? Yeah. Wow. Uh, always in tie and, and you're always in that's, jeans. Uh, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, it's kind oh, of our it. wall of honor here that we keep, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. All right. Well, let's put it down here. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? That's so cool. <laughs> And this is our customer service department okay. and, and uh, provider relations department in this back in here. Uh, and uh, Gabe is, is in charge of that. And then this is our IT department. These are programmers uh, in here. By the way, you, uh, you know the difference between a programmer and a used car salesman? <laughs> what? A used car salesman knows when he's lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> Plan 20 years ago, 20th anniversary, uh, it was a really unregulated industry. Do you understand mm -hmm. what I mean? And so we knew that, y'all come on, come on, get a little closer here, and you can hear. We knew that uh, it was probably going to attract what we call bad actors, okay? And uh, so uh, we wanted to be regulated. But we wanted to break the regulations. Right. Okay. Yes, sure. Makes sense. <laughs> okay. So Dennis uh, formed an association of uh, discount uh, people like us, and uh, 
uh, he was chairman of the regulatory committee, so he, he was in charge of writing all the regulations for our industry. That works. Mm. And today we're regulated mm. in over 36 states, okay, and, and so you have to have a net worth requirement. You have all these requirements now, so just no jack leg, you know, uh, person can start a discount company and just cheat the public. Right. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, th that's what we did there. We have the three attorneys on staff because, again, we, we, have, to, we have to file each year uh, to fulfill those regulations that we put in place, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go on uh, around this way. Got it.